Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura 123 and this is going to be a shopping haul video. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share, and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And hey, don't forget to smash the notification bell. Then you can see when I've uploaded new content also when I'm doing live streams. So yeah, I got up nice and early this morning. Uh, I was actually woke up really early from uh, next door. Uh, they're having like builders in at the moment and they were banging and drilling. So that kind of woke me up really early. <laughs> but in a way it was good because it got me up and out of the house earlier. And it's a little less busy in town the earlier you go. So yeah, I was kind of half asleep when I went, but you know, at least I got there early. So I managed to grab uh, quite a few bits and pieces in Poundland and some other bits and pieces and other shops but yeah the majority of this stuff is from Poundland so um if you didn't already know I love Halloween Halloween is uh, literally my favorite time of the year some people love Christmas best time of the year I love Halloween best time of the year <laughs> I just love it ever since I was a kid I love spooky scary stuff and you know you go in the shops and there's so much awesome like spooky things you can buy in that so I love Halloween and whenever I'm in Poundland, I'll always go down the spooky, scary section at uh, the aisle with all the goodies, Halloween goodies. You know, everything's pretty cheap in Poundland and I always find something that, you know, I haven't got and I'm like, oh, I'll have that. So there is some new stuff um, in Poundland at the moment. I went in there last week and I've got a few bits and pieces, but there's even more stuff now. So I reckon as the weeks go on, towards Halloween they'll have even more different stuff so you know if you are also into Halloween and you like going to Poundland check it out because they they are doing lots of awesome stuff so I've got this um bottle here so I have another YouTube channel if you didn't already know Minx Laura 123 ASMR check it out link is down below um, and on there I do lots of like different videos to help people with anxiety and insomnia uh, best way I describe it is videos to help you relax chill and sleep and also some people when they watch my videos get tingle, tingle, tingles. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I, I always do like a lot of Halloween themed ASMR videos on my other channel, uh, which basically involve role plays and stuff. And uh, I love doing like, you know, Halloween spooky video. Like it's just so fun, especially like if I'm dressed up as a witch or a vampire, etc. So I always look out for things you know outfits props that I can use in those videos um so yeah I got these witch bottles here I show you this one first now these are new these were not in there last year some of the stuff Halloween stuff you do remember from last year they've obviously bought it back out but there is some new stuff this year um, and they're also done a deal with this uh, company called creepy town and uh, they've got like got some new stuff so that's why I'm seeing a lot of different things in Poundland this year that I didn't see before anyway so this bottle is absolutely adorable look it's bright red it's got a big spider on it now I'm scared of spiders but obviously this one's not real so yeah I'm cool with that one <laughs> if there was a real spider this size I'd be freaking out right now um but yeah I like the skull lid it's pretty cool um it's quite a big bottle as well so uh, this is gonna be great for like I'm doing like a witch role play video um I'm doing a few of them actually so these would be like great for like you know potion bottles and stuff like that so that is that and this is the other bottle here uh, I love this look at this I have newt I have newt for the finest potions. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that one. The lid's pretty cool as well. Uh, so, yeah, these are quite big. You can see, you know, the size of my hand next to the bottle. These are quite big bottles. So, um, got those. And I've got this bottle over here. Now, I'm sure I've got a very, very similar bottle to this, but I wasn't sure if I did or not. So, basically, I took a chance and got this. Um, so, yeah, it just says Happy Halloween on it. So, uh, yeah, that'd be good like as a little potion bottle prop. Um, now, this, this is going to be fun. It's a voodoo doll. <laughs> Look at this. This is so freaking cool. Now, part of me is tempted to use it as a real voodoo doll because trust me, there's plenty of people that I would love to, you know, but I'm going to be a good girl. Um, I always believe in being nice and positive, so I'm not going to use it, however tempting it could be. Um, but this is just going to be for like a prop in a video um you know it's so cool for halloween and a little voodoo doll sitting there but um people are getting quite angry um i'll show you in a bit because I, I bought some but people are getting quite angry online about uh, some of poundland's halloween section stuff um for example i've seen people moaning about the voodoo dolls and i'll show you in a minute but 
spirit boards. Yes, Poundland are selling Ouija spirit boards. And I'm in this Facebook group and uh, on, on uh, Facebook it's called the, what is it, the Poundland Appreciation Group. There we go, a bit of a mouthful. Basically, like, people go and they put pictures and posts on about items they bought in Poundland or if they're after buying something in Poundland, that kind of thing. Um, and on there, like, there's such a controversy at the moment about people, uh, you know, they're moaning about, the fact that Poundland is selling Ouija boards. Uh, <laughs> so, like, you know, I did have a word with a few of my friends and also Nathan, my fiancé, and I kind of wanted their kind of view on it. Um, and the kind of, you know, idea is like, well, you know, it can be quite scary. You're playing with fire, you know, you're playing with demon stuff. Some people really, you know, don't believe in the Ouija thing. They just think it's silly and it's just a game and it's, you know, not real. But other people do believe it. They've had bad, like horrific, scare experiences and you kind of don't know what you're messing with type of vibe. And to sell it, you know, in Poundland where kids can get it, um, it's not marked as an over 18 thing either. Um, so, you know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. Do you, are you cool? I will be showing you the spirit board. Look, it's right there. <laughs> um, what do you think? Do you think it's just a bit of fun or do you think it's a no-no? You should think, you know, people are getting really angry about it. My outtake uh, on it is, is, is just like, you know what? It's just, there's worse things I've seen in the Poundland section and other sections in shops of Halloween. Really gory kind of things. Um, you know, certain weapons and lots of like bloody gory stuff like I find that actually more disturbing than just like a Ouija board spirit board thing uh, in my opinion so I, I don't have a problem I also think if you don't like it that's cool don't buy it you know the, the, no one's forcing you to buy this stuff um, you know for example I know I'm a vegetarian so when I go in Poundland and see packets of meat you know would I get really offended no I just think well it's, you know I'm not gonna buy it let someone else who eats meat buy it do you know what I'm saying that's my view. So I think it's just fun. It's Halloween. It's spooky. Um, so anyway, that's that. But I will show you the spirit board in a moment. So anyway, let me know in the comments section what you think. Next up is this spooky cape. Um, once again, for my videos, I want to be a vampire and I also want to be a witch. So this is, I don't know if it's the one, because there's two here. This one has like a hood on it and this one doesn't. So I don't know which one this is going to be. But obviously when I open it, I'll find out. So that's that. Um, also, I've got this. Oh my God, this is gorgeous this dress hold on let me turn it around so this is from Poundland's Pep and Co clothing um so we've got two Poundlands in South End where I'm from by the way and uh one's in the top end of the high street one's at the bottom end of the high street and basically the one at the bottom end is the biggest store so they have more things in general um, they also have a Pep and Co in their store like clothing and stuff um and uh, yeah I saw this and I was like wow I had to get it it's this lovely dress and it's really soft material, by the way. And it's, look at the colours, it's checked, but it's like brown and orange and cream. And, oh, it just looks so nice. I hope it fits me. Like, I'm going to try it on in a bit, actually. But I'm, I'm just hoping it fits me because I love it. It's so autumn. Like, look at those colours. I can just wear that with, like, some tights or leggings or whatever. Oh, I hope it fits, basically. Um, it was a bargain, actually. It was uh, £6. So... I think that's a bargain anyway. So yeah, I've got that. Okay, next up, I've got this LOL surprise hair bow, <laughs> which is a bit random. I know I'm 41, but it's so cute. Like, come on, how can you not love this? Uh, this is for a video on my other channel as well that I've got planned. I was really looking for a pink bow um, because I'm dressing up as the 80s cartoon star gem. Do you remember the 80s rock star um, gem, pink hair, pink outfit, etc. So um, I was looking for a pink bow and I saw this and I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool. So um, yeah, I got that for the outfit. Um, that's from Poundland, obviously. Moving over here, move the cape out of the way. This is from Poundland. Uh, this isn't for me though. I am going to sell this, hopefully, hopefully sell this on eBay. Uh, so basically, if I ever see anything in Poundland that I think might make a bit of profit on eBay, I buy it and then sell it on. Uh, sometimes it's it's a good gamble. I, I make a bit of profit. Most times it's not. <laughs> I buy stuff in Poundland and I'm like, uh oh, that didn't sell very well. And, and sometimes they don't sell at all, etc. But I always like to take a chance. I, you know, I'm a, I'm a gambler. I like to take a bit of a risk with stuff. Um, but I saw this book, brand new, hardback book. Um, now, I've actually read this book. Um, and honestly, it's so good. It's called Mirror Mirror. And it's, um, I can never pronounce the name, but it's Cara Delevingne. 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 Anyway, but it's really, really good. Um, 
I loved it. I remember reading this and I loved it. So I thought, well, you know, she's quite a popular girl. This book was amazing. Maybe some people are still after it. It's brand new. So I'm going to pop that on eBay. Um, okay, what else have I got here to show you? So this is for Nathan. Um, this is Lynx Africa Energy Boost Shower Gel. I think I've got a bit of a dodgy one because when I got home, some of it looked, but leaked out a little bit. So, hmm. But this is the XL edition. So this will last him ages. It's a big old, big old shower gel, that. Um, and this is more Halloween stuff coming up. Caution tape. It says warning and beware. You've got the police sign there as well. So uh, it's just fun, you know, dressing up the house and that for Halloween. Stuff like this is brilliant. Um, got some stickers over here. These are window stickers. So you've got the witch and the cauldron and the pumpkin, the scary raven, got a cat, another big pumpkin there. So uh, these, these are pretty cool. I love like stickers and stuff for Halloween. Um, okay, now I have a couple of books to show you. These aren't from Poundland, by the way. Um, but bearing in mind, this is a shopping haul. So, you know, I might as well show you because it's shopping. So I got uh, the brand new book by Garth Nix. Now, I've never read any of his books, um, but I know he's a big author. He does a lot of, like, fantasy books. Um, so this is called The Left-Handed Booksellers of London. And this is the very special um, Waterstones edition. So it's got the yellow sprayed edges. How beautiful is that? Um, I am going to be selling this on eBay once I've read it. By the way, I've just seen there's a quote here from one of my favourite authors ever, V.E. Schwab. Um, so, yeah, this is supposed to be really, really good fantasy. It says, authorised to kill and sell books. <laughs> it's just the idea of, like, combining magic and, like, books and, you know, it's, I don't know. I think it sounds pretty cool. So um, this is going to be read within the next week. I'm going to read this uh, because I just think it sounds amazing um and the other book i wanted to show you is this one here which actually turned up in the post today finally from ebay i'd ordered this ages ago and uh it's finally turned up i was starting to worry that it wasn't gonna show but it appeared in the post today uh, i wanted to give the postman a big hug i'm like thank you i've waited for this book for ages. <laughs> clearly i didn't do that because number one social distancing number two it'd be weird really weird um however when i was younger i did used to have a crush on my postman i was like 11 12 and i used to have such a crush on him i'd make him a, a cup of tea and toast in the morning about seven o'clock when he'd do the rounds i'd be like here's a cup of tea and toast that's so weird so weird. Oh, clearly i would not do that now but as a teenager you know i had a crush Anyway, moving on. That was random. This is this is Clown in a Cornfield. Uh, it's the brand new book and it's supposed to be so freaky and scary. You can see there the clown's face there in the cornfield itself. The kids are not all right. I'm so excited to read this. This is going to be my next book followed by this one, I think. Um, but yeah, this is supposed to be super super scary. It doesn't look a big book. I don't think it'll take me too long to read and I'm going to sell it on eBay afterwards that's why I, I tend to do my books these days i don't like doing that don't get me wrong i'd love to keep them all but i just can't afford to so what i do i, I, I buy them i read them i keep them in good condition and then i just kind of sell them on and so, you know sometimes i get a little bit profit or sometimes I just get my money back or a little bit less so you know it's just a way that i can keep on buying books without wasting too much money basically um but yeah this this is going to be my next read okay so i've got some bubble wrap for ebay because sometimes i send things obviously i need to um bubble wrap them up um so yeah this is from poundland uh this is from poundland two i've, I've got like three is it two two or three clown masks now the weird thing is right i'm actually terrified of clowns um oh look this would go well with a picture clown in cornfield with a clown um <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm actually terrified of clowns so yeah, I don't quite know why I'm doing so many clown themed videos this year, but I've got an idea for a ASMR video with clowns. Um, so yeah, expect to see a lot of clowns in this year's videos. Not just clowns, not just clowns. Um, picked up some batteries, got these. Um, these are the Kodak Super Heavy Duty Zinc. Um, they are the 9V, so you get two of these. Um, basically i'm going to do a separate video with this i'm not going to talk about it too much but i got some new uh paranormal equipment so um i've got ghost hunting equipment i've got a emf meter brand new one and also a uh rem pod so if you're not into spooky stuff then you know it won't be a video for you but if you are look out for that video i'm going to do it soon and show you my new 
my new tools to try and uh, talk to the dead with. Uh, so yeah, basically the EMF and the REM pod also, uh, they both use these batteries. I didn't have any, so I went and got some. That was a really exciting story, was it? I didn't have any, so I went and got some. Now, this is not mine. Uh, this is not for me. This is for Nathan. I picked it up while I was in town. He got it from Argos. He clicked and cl I collected. Yeah, he clicked. I collected. So this is a brand new beard trimmer. Um, and for an extra two pound, he got like an actual grooming kit as well. So it's by, how do you say that? Wow. Wool. Wow. Waha. Waha. I don't know. Um, but yes, yeah, so you get the little kit here. You get the, obviously the, the beard trimmer and you get like tweezers, little scissors, clippers, um, a nose thing as well to get like little hairs out your nose and stuff. So, um, he's going to try this today, see what it's like. But I said, you can't have it yet. I've got to do my shopping haul video. <laughs> you can't you can't take it yet you'll have to wait but yeah ear and nose trimmer you get a little storage pouch precision blade there we go in this nice little set um so yeah for an extra two pound he got this this was like 17 quid so it's quite cheap for what it is uh it's really weird because he did have um a beard trimmer um and it's just gone missing like literally it's just gone missing we have no idea where it is he hasn't used it for a while um went to use it gone very, very odd, very bizarre. But anyway, that is a replacement. You know that we'll end up finding the old one in like a couple of weeks. But <laughs> there we go. Right, so this is the, the big drama as I was talking about before with Poundland. Oh my God, they can't have a spirit board. Oh no, it's awful. They're selling Ouija boards. Well, to be, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think, look, no one's telling you to buy it. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. I do see where people are coming from. Maybe there should have been an over 18 thing on there. I, I kind of get where people are coming from with that. But some people are like, I'm not going in Poundland ever again. You know, like, come on seriously you're not going to go in Poundland because of this. this is ridiculous um but anyway this is what it looks like it's the spirit board ouija board um really cool box as well like this box is so cool like the creepy hand there um hands here is there anybody out there you get the plant shit as well um so yeah i've actually got it out of the box um and it's massive i thought it'd be like this kind of size like small um, oh, I just saw that creepy hand there. That was freaky. But it's actually really, really big. Um, and the planchet is really big as well. So, um, yeah, it's not this kind of small size. It's it's massive. It's like a big kind of, I don't know, A4 size. No, A4, A3, is it? But a big, big board, basically. Um, so here's the thing what I'm doing with these. I am giving one to my dad because, <laughs> you, you know... Why not? No, my dad has always been fascinated by like Ouija boards and talking to spirits and stuff. Um, he's kind of like a bit sceptical, but he does believe, if that makes sense. So when I was telling him about these Ouija boards, he's like, I'll have one. I'll do it. I don't mind. I can talk to me. My dad now talks like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I got my dad one for Christmas. I'm going to wrap this up. He knows he's got it. And I think he's excited to use it. His other half, Jan, his partner, She's not having none of it. She's she's not going to be using it. He's just going to use it on his own. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if he gets anything. Uh, so one's for my dad. The others I'm going to be selling on eBay. Uh, so if you do want one of these, um, I've got, let's have a look. One, two. Is there any more? Oh, there's some in there. Three, four, five. So I've got five in that bag down there. Um, I've got five um, others that I'm going to be selling. One's for my dad. Now, you're probably thinking, are you going to use it, Laura? <laughs> After all that mouthing off about, yeah, that's cool that they should sell it. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I want to use it. Do not get me wrong. I am so freaking tempted to keep one of these, not sell it on eBay and just keep it for myself. Um, but I I can't. I'm too much of a wimp. I'm cool with doing like the REM pod stuff and the EMF meter and, you know, leaving a cam called around overnight, you know, seeing if there's any orbs or shadows or whatever. But I think that to me, like <laughs> the spirit board Ouija thing, like you just don't know what other like spirits or demons could come through if you are into that, um, which I am obviously. And I'm like, the ghosts in the house at the moment, that's cool. Then, they, you know, they're nice enough. But the minute you start messing one of these things, what happens? You know, is, is darker stuff going to come in my house? And I've got really bad anxiety. I don't need to be worrying about demons coming in. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to keep it for myself. But it's really hard not to because I'm really tempted to do it. Ah, but I'm not going to. Um, but I'll just find out for my dad if it worked. So it's all good. So if you want to buy any of these, um, I am going to pop them 
on eBay. Uh, by the way, there will be a new What I'm Selling on eBay video coming up this week. Let me get my other bag here. So, yeah, if you uh, are after looking at the What I'm Selling on eBay video, look out for that. Okay, right, what's in this bag here? We've got some more <laughs> bubble wrap. Not particularly exciting, but stuff that I need for my eBay. Um, I've got some sellotape. Also, not particularly exciting, but need it for my eBay. Oh, I've got another sellotape here. Oh, yeah, I forgot I bought two. Two sellotapes. This is the best sellotape, in my opinion. I've tried all the cheapy ones, and they just don't stick very well. So the original sellotape, the original golden sellotape, for me, is the best. Um, I know some people might disagree, but it's only a pound. It's a bargain. I go through so much sellotape before my eBay. It's ridiculous. Now, this is um, from Poundland as well. So they had a whole range of this. They had some stuff you put in the bath. They had some essential oils of this. Um, so it's by the Land of Nod. Uh, this is their pillow spray, and it is relaxing lavender. Um, yeah, relaxing and calming lavender. And it's just a little pillow spray. Now, we've, we've already got a pillow spray in lavender, but obviously, you know, we use it a lot so it goes down. Um, and the last one we got was from, where was it from? Oh, um, Body Shop. So it's obviously a little bit expensive. So I thought for a pound, maybe this is the way forward. If I like it, obviously, we can just go and get some more, store them up, you know, in the drawer because um, it's a lot cheaper. But I don't know what it smells like. It might not smell as nice as the uh, Body Shop one, but... You know, if it helps me sleep and takes us to the land of Nod, then uh, it's all good. But yeah, if you are interested in like other sleepy things, they've got a whole section um, of like, as I say, essential oils, bath stuff and everything. It's very important that you get relaxation in life. All right, what else have we got in this bag? Okay, oh, stuck on you. Self-adhesive labels. <laughs> I try and make some of this stuff sound exciting and you just can't like some of the stuff yeah other stuff in my shopping halls I'm like yeah it's just sticky labels it's not it's not exciting um but anyway yes these are for you guessed at eBay when I write all my parcels out and stuff like that um okay so this this is pretty cool I'm gonna do a separate video of this I was thinking of doing it in this video like opening it up and then I thought no no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a separate video, like a mystery surprise opening. Uh, this is called, what is it? Uh, blah, Zuru. Zuru? I think that's how you say it. Zuru. Zuru 5 surprise. Um, basically, there's just little cute, kitsch little toys in here to unbox. You get five, five different toys inside. And apparently it opens up like orange like slices so there's a toy in each one um so yeah i'm going to be filming a video with this and also because i knew i had that one and i was going to do a video i went and got these two these are a pound each uh, that one was from poundland by the way yeah um and these were from um basically in the shopping center there's one of those little mach machines where you put your pound coin in you twist it and yeah you know you get a little toy come out old school so this was one that i found i looked at all the different um ones they had and i thought this was super cute um obviously i'm not going to show you what it does because i'm not opening it in this video but basically you squeeze it and squash it and it's really cute so that's that one um and then there's this one here which i actually can't remember what this one was <laughs> This one I got from Sainsbury's and I really don't remember. I have no idea. It's not a car. I wouldn't have asked for a car. Why is there a car in it? It's weird. I didn't ask for a car. Looks like there's a car in it. It shouldn't be a car. It should be um it should be a unicorn, actually. I remember doing that now. It should have been the, the rainbow unicorn things. Squishy unicorn. But this to me looks like a car because I can see the wheels, so that's a bit a bit of a letdown. But anyway, um and that's that. I don't think I've got anything more, but hold on. Now I have, oh, I've got obviously the other uh, Ouija boards. Um, I've also got this, which is a bit of a disaster. I got this for my mum. Hold on, let me put that down there. Yeah, so basically our front room downstairs is, uh, the colouring is like cream, brown, and red and teal, 100 colours in one room. Uh, but it, it all goes, it all goes together. Um, we've got a lot of teal, like our cushion covers are teal, like this greeny, bluey teal colour. Um, we've got a rug that's this colour, etc., etc. So when I saw this jar thing, I don't know what it's officially called, I just call it a, 
a jar thing. <laughs> um, I was like, oh, mum, you, you know, you've got to get this. You know, I'll get it for her um, because it's really nice. And she, she has like a pens, little pen pot next to where she sits on her sofa. Um, and it's just like a little plain black pot. And I thought, oh, no, this is better because it's the same colour. It really go nice in the room. Um, it's got, like, these cool little tassel things on it. And it's, you know, so I get it home. It's literally the perfect match. Like, it literally goes in the room so well. Uh, only problemo is it's too big, she says, because her pens, which she did show me, she put her pens in and they go right down to the bottom. I think maybe it's a little bit bigger than I thought, actually. I thought it would be perfect for pens and they would stick out. But unless you've got like super extra long pins, then yeah, it's a bit big. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do with it. She said she'll find somewhere for it. Uh, I was like, oh. Then I was like, oh, maybe I should sell it on eBay instead. But, you know, it's probably not going to sell. So um, anyway, she's going to you know, find somewhere for it. I don't know. Um, but anyway. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, don't forget to tell me in the comments section down below what you like the best. Um, I hope this dress fits. I really do. It looks quite like, you know, stretchy and loose. It doesn't look one of those clingy material dresses. So I'm hoping it fits. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, please click like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to smash the notification bell. Make sure the notifications are set to all notifications uh, it's really important you do that it really is because people are not getting notifications um, and I found out that that's probably why because you have to be on to all notifications apparently that's what's going to help we'll we'll see uh, so make sure that's that um, if you do want to become a channel member that would be awesome I love getting new channel members here supporting the channel and uh, obviously supporting me and uh, you know you do get some awesome channel perks including early access to videos you get to see different community posts that other people don't see and pictures and stuff behind the scenes pictures and things um, you also get to use the minxy emojis in the live stream chat room and premiere chat rooms um, you get your names before a video and shout outs in live streams etc so yeah if you want to become a channel member please do for as little as a pound or a dollar a month you can support the channel and uh, be a vip member of the one two three family um so anyway that is the end of the video hope you enjoyed it i really do i love doing my shopping haul videos obviously i don't go shopping as much as i used to because i have to be careful with my money back in the day i was a bit naughty and a bit silly and i would just go shopping like every week and it, it just wasn't good yeah well it was good <laughs> but it wasn't good financially um so I, I tend not to go like every other you know day or whatever i tend to go like once a fortnight now so um you know hopefully i'll, I'll do another shopping haul video soon uh, also what i started doing is a few like groceries oh god nathan he frightened the life out of me i'm not gonna put the camera on him because he hasn't got his hat on and he'll go mad but i'm filming this way and i, I felt someone's watching me and he, right there there's a little face i'm not gonna show you on camera because he'll go i haven't got my hat on can i show you no, uh, but he creeped around the side like a creeper and frightened me. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say now. Oh, grocery store. Yeah, we're, we're going to start doing aren't we? some like grocery store hauls. So when we go shopping and get food and drink. I best buy loads of healthy food. Then. Buy loads of healthy food. Yeah. Not just the cake. Yeah, don't buy just cakes. Um, so, yeah, if you obviously people like watching that. So uh, we're trying to do some more like, you know, grocery hauls as well. Well, that really frightened me. I did not expect him to be there, and he's just poking his head around the side. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Don't do that. You really frightened me.